你好。Hello, 你好。I am Amanda Schoenblatt, Miss Panda, and this is Playful Chinese. First Mandarin Sounds, an awesome Chinese word book, is a playful picture book. It introduces essential Mandarin sounds and playful first words to readers. Readers will be reading and learning through playing. First Mandarin Sounds, an awesome Chinese word book, is now available, and I hope you check it out. 我是 Miss Panda， 好开心看到你来和我一起练习中文。Whew, it's cold. It's very cold. 好冷，好冷。How is the weather in your city? Is it cold? 冷不冷？冷不冷？ Today we're going to talk about winter solstice. Winter solstice is 冬至，冬至，冬至 is also known as winter festival. 冬节 Winter solstice, 冬至 marks the shortest day and the longest night of the year in the northern hemisphere. 冬至 is one of the twenty-four solar terms on the Chinese lunar calendar. When 冬至 is here, that means the cold weather has arrived. So, what is 冬至冬 means winter. When you talk about winter, we say 冬天。冬天。至 means extreme or arrival. 冬至 means the arrival of winter. So, what are some traditions for 冬至 or winter festival in Chinese culture? 冬至 is a day for a family reunion. And it is the day for some special food. For people who live in the northern part of China, this day they will eat dumplings, 水饺，水饺 For people who live in the southern part of China or Taiwan, they eat tang yuan. You can make tang yuan at home. Tang yuan is made of rice flour, water, and sugar. They are tang yuan, the rice balls without any fillings inside. They are also delicious ones with fillings. For tang yuan with fillings, there are several very popular options. The first one is sweet black sesame. Second one, sweet red beans. The third one would be peanut filling. They are delicious. How do you cook them? You will put them in the boiling water, and then when they are ready, they are going to float. And you can make mini rice balls without any fillings at home. And you only need three ingredients. You need rice flour, sugar, and water. You can give it a try. 你可以试试看。And you might want to know the shape of tang yuan. They are round, and round can represent perfection, reunion. So today, when people eat tang yuan, that symbolizes reunion, perfection, and happiness. We talk about winter solstice, 冬至 and then. The weather is cold. There's an expression you can use. You can say 冷飕飕，冷飕飕 It's chilly. It's kind of windy. And then we can talk about actually inside. It's a very warm. Then you can say 暖乎乎，暖乎乎 And the special food we talk about dumplings, 水饺 And also, 
汤圆 the rice balls. So this is a day we want to wish everybody good health, 健康 And when people eat round rice balls, that symbolizes perfection and the reunion. 圆圆满满 Even though it's very cold outside, we're celebrating the winter solstice. So I want to wish everybody, 冬至快乐 Happy winter solstice. 冬至快乐 And I wrote a little rhyme for you in Chinese. Now listen and enjoy, and see if you can catch any words in Chinese we just talked about. 冬至到，外面冷飕飕。冬至到，里面暖乎乎。冬至到，吃汤圆。冬至到，吃水饺。祝你健康快乐。圆圆满满，外面冷飕飕，里面暖乎乎。大家冬至快乐 ！Now I need to make sure I have all the three ingredients to make the mini rice balls. Let me see: sugar, 糖 rice flour, 米粉 water. Sure, I got them all. I think you have all the ingredients at home as well, and come join me to make some mini rice balls. 小汤圆，冬至快乐 ！Happy winter solstice! 冬至快乐 ！Now your mission is to teach someone what you have learned in this episode. Ready, set, go, go, go! 加油！加油，加油 ！Joy multiplies when it is shared. You can rate, review, and share playful Chinese in all podcast platforms. Come and join me next time for more playful Chinese. This is Miss Panda, and I'll see you next time. 我们下次见。<音>